grab all of that and I think what we're gonna do is just whoa okay we got some zombies It's alright, we got this. Okay. Now we got Monolita on us. Ah, you crazy... I knew that was gonna happen. I knew it. I knew I should have moved. G'day, stalkers! Yay, yay, yeah! Welcome to episode 68 of the Loner to Legend Crafting Challenge. This is your boy, Blondie, speaking. How is everyone doing? I hope you're all doing fantastic. This is something of a special episode for a couple of reasons. Firstly, this is the first recording I've done since we hit a thousand subscribers. Thank you guys so much. I can't believe we finally hit a thousand subs. That's absolutely crazy. We did it in less than a year, which is just bonkers. Now the second reason this is uh, a bit of a celebration is because I have finished the special project that I was working on. I will unveil that in a new video. Chances are you've probably already seen it because th that will probably come out before this episode does. So do go and check that out if you are interested in crafting or in the crafting challenge or if you're just wanting to try and track your crafting a little better. Got something that maybe will help you. Link is in the description for both the video and a link for the um, Excel file. So go and check those out if that's your sort of deal. As for this episode, this special episode 68, thousand subscriber party, I guess you could say. Yeah, we'll call it a party. Why the hell not? It's my party and I'll cry if I want to. Let's repair this knife. How's that for a good start? No, what we're going to do is we're going to continue exploring Jupiter. Now, yes, the sheet is finished, and I haven't quite ported everything over into the new format yet, so I'm going to be using the old sheet to keep a track of all of the stuff that we've got here, and in the meantime, we're just going to go out and collect resources like we did last episode, so that, that's what we're going to be up to this episode. Uh, as of next episode, the sheet should be fully operational, and I will be using it going forward, but until then, just going to be using the old sheet, and it's a little bit the old ones it's not bad it's fine but uh i'd like to use the new one as i start to get crafting so let's do that instead and before we head out ooh, <laughs> yes we need a few things we need one of these and i think we definitely need one of you and we may need one of you there we go we depleted a few things over the last couple of episodes. These guys are fully stocked up now. I like it. I like it very much. Look at that. Oh yeah, they still got stuff we sold to them. Sweet. I have also been toying around with the idea of doing like a full crafting challenge. Not necessarily for, ep for season two, um, but in future. Where we try and craft as much as we can with all of the stuff we find. And I think it could turn out to be quite lucrative. So that's another thing I'd be excited for in future. But that's way, way, way down the track. Let's grab one of you. Now, on the topic of grooming kits, yeah, actually, nice. this would be a good... Let's get some extra scrap. Let's buy a shovel. Thank you. Now, someone in the comments did mention uh, that it is possible to disassemble things by dragging a tool onto them so normally what I would do is if I disassembled this way it would use the lowest common denominator so it would use the grooming kit instead of my multi-tool now if I want to keep the grooming kit for crafting and stuff I obviously don't want to be using this at all so apparently we can just drop this on okay so I need to hold alt bang look at that and it works so thank you very much I think I think it was Bill was it Bill Carr, I'm probably getting that wrong, Bill, I'm sorry. You know who you are, thank you very much, man, I really appreciate that. Excellent tip. 
So that's going to save. I'm probably going to forget it though. I'll be out there and if we're holding a grooming kit, I'll be like, ah, right click disassemble. I'm an idiot. Billy. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut that one off at the head. Boom. There we go. And out we go. And I hear crickets and it reminds me that it is night time and we should... Whoa, two o'clock. Okay. Let's sleep first, hey? Let's do that. Seems like a sensible idea. Let's get some daylight in us. There we go. Alright, let's wake up at, say, ooh... I don't know, bacon and eggs o'clock. I like that idea. Or oh, pancakes. I would settle for pancakes. Thoisty? Yeah, we're thirsty. Look at that. Actually, we probably need a bit more drink as well. We'll go and see Barkeep in a tick. That'll take care of our hunger as well for a little bit. Now, Vasa, please. Danke. Jesus. Okay, so, last episode, we ranged about this far down at the container warehouse where the bandits are. This was a little bandit outpost. We went down there, we took everyone out. What are you running for? Where are you going? I'm gonna say, is there something nasty out there? Freaking me out, man. Um, okay, fine. This was the area that... This was the area that... We, I keep on hearing someone talking out there, it's kind of freaking me out. This is the area that we came into through Red Forest, so we came up through Red Forest into Jupiter through this area here. Now there is a section just here which I think we're going to start by exploring this episode. And this area will lead us to the Oasis, which is a really cool underground section which kind of runs along under here. Full of rubble and old, old pathways and a little puzzle as well, a, a freaky little puzzle that might cause you to panic the first time you get stuck in there. Don't panic, don't panic, I got you. And we still have our objective up here, clear the area of mutants. I thought we cleared off all the bad mutants, but apparently we still got some up here, so... We got that to take care of as well. We may leave this section as one of the last areas to explore in Jupiter. Um, apart from the underground, of course. Uh, just because it's large and involved, and there's usually a heavily heavy enemy presence. And so it's that one's kind of an episode in and of itself. Oh, and we got Sin roaming around here too. Sweet. Alright, so we can follow the train tracks back down to this little area here, which is what we're going to do. Right now. Hello, friend. Bye bye Try not to get shocked. And we're hungry again. Okay, that's fine. Chucky Wucky for breakfast. Yes, please. I will do the chucky doo Alright, so we're just going to follow these tracks all the way down. Try not to get our ass shot off or chewed off by anything nasty. Just keep an eye out. Keep an ear out. Okay, now we're going to... Big anomaly coming up here. One of those weird train anomalies. Can't remember what this one's called. That's that's a bad time. That looks like it's a bad time up ahead. I think we should stay away from that. Let's continue. Don't know if you can hear that low thrum every now and again. I'm just going to switch to a ranged... Uh, extreme ranged weapon. Something with a bit more range. Is there anything up here that I'm missing? Uh, uh. What do we got up here? Anything? Negatory. I bet there's something like tucked up on one of these things that I've missed. Which I'm sure someone will point out for me. Okay. I actually don't know if there's anything up here. I... Sincerely doubt it. I'm pretty sure most of the time I've been through here, there's been nothing here. Yeah, there's nothing up here. There may be loot in there, I'm not sure. 
I just don't like the look of that thing. I mean, it is... The hatch is open there, right? So... Not sure if I can even... Hop. I can. Whoa. How far is it going to come? That's pretty far. I mean, I could try and get in there. I guess. I'd probably be safe along the seats or whatever. Shooty, shooty, pop, pop. What have we got down here? There's a little thing there. Let's go and investigate that real quick. Pretty sure... Just going to be sitting there all by its lonesome. Yeah, just tucked away right there. Let's go and have a look. This road will take us comfortably to where we need to go, so that'll be pretty easy. Not the drama. Okay, that looks like a bad time. I can see that from here already. What is that? That's a chair. So now the question becomes, what do we have over here? Do we have anything? That looks like a stash. Usually when you see an icon like this, it's an indication of a stash. The question of whether we're actually going to be able to get in there is another matter entirely. actually don't like her chances at the moment. Whoa. That sounds like a bad time as well. That seems like a way through. That's not. That's not. That is potentially, but we could very well clip our way through there. I'm going to say no to that one for now. I would like to upgrade our detector at some point. Our artifact detector needs to be upgraded to the final... The final level, the Zvarog. But we don't have the recipe for it. We've been pining for that one for a while. I'm tempted to go up there and have a look. Under fire from Monolith. So... Monolith killed Freedom. That's to be expected. Let's go up and take him out. Okay, who we got up here? Okay, where is Monolita? That's a Monolita! We could get sandwiched here if we're not careful. Okay, there is actually a fair amount of them down there. Let's go. You want to play, huh? Alright, we play. Gonna head down here and see if we can flank him a little bit. Okay, I can hear him back up on the hill, I think. Use this thing up here as cover. Still going up there. Thermite grenades by the looks. Those things are nasty if you happen to be on top of one. They will eat through armor. The downside is that they've got a very small hit radius. So you need to make your throws count. Fuck it, let's just... Unless they're real close, I'm confident we can top them. I wonder if these guys just booked it up here. It's 
possible. Okay, we got some dudes there. Just back up a little bit. Okay, that's a bad time right there. Come on. Okay, down you go. Won't say no to monolita bodies. Do you have what we need, my friend? Don't actually think you do. How much are we missing there? 95%. Uh, you know what? Let's take everything and then you can take this back. There you go. How's that sound? Alright, if they had buddies, again, we'll do the same thing. Take it all. Oh. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> uh, what do we got here? Yes, we can use you. Let's do that. Cool. Let's just grab all of that. And I think what we're going to do is just... Whoa, okay, we got some zombies. It's all right, we got this. Okay. Now we got Monolita on us. Ah, you crazy. I knew that was going to happen. I knew it. I knew I should have moved. Let's just secure this place. Another improvised stim pack. It's alright, we'll let these guys come down. Anybody? I swear I heard something this way. Keep hearing voices, god damn it. Okay, we got anyone out here? Wonder if this guy's given up. Nope. He's right there. Just take a hint, buddy. Okay. Think he was the last one. Let's just head inside real quick. 86%. Are you kidding me? Alright, what do we have to repair you with? We could potentially...
paranoid now. If we start fixing this thing. Alright, what can we patch you up with? Yeah, we can do... We can do that, that's perfect. Brilliant. Else, why else would we bring this stuff along? Still says I'm bleeding. That's fine. Alright, let's get some food in us. Let's get some... Let's get some... Let's get some bread. That'll do. And, okay, we also need to repair you. Damn. Letting my gear slip, man. Alright, let's pump you back up to... That'll do. 98%. Perfect. Okay. Not hearing anything so far, which is good. I say we're hungry again. God damn. You know, we could put something like this away and then drink some water. Let's do that. Just to get rid of the rads. So, we're taking on some rads at the moment. We'll drink some water. Okay. Get rid of those rads. Wash it all down. Nom, 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 nom. Brilliant. Okay. Cool. Alright, let's go out and see if we can claim our prize here. Man, oh man, look at this gear. Let's grab... I'm hesitant to say all the stuff, because that's a lot of stuff. Don't want to move that. Yeah, we can't move. So... That's not going to help us. That, pretty sure, is not going to help us. What do you got for gas tubes? Wrong tubes, man. Oh, that was a grenade, pretty sure. Uh, uh. That's a grenade. Whoa! That's a bad time. How? You will give that to me. God damn. Yeah, that's right, bitch. Full auto. My lord. Let's get you back where you belong. Bloody hell. I was going to say, I hope we're not out of ammo for that thing. Okay, so we repair our shit and then we got more monolita. Alright, well at least... Okay, we got more coming. There's more coming, I swear I heard. I heard him. someone. Please don't tell me this is going to be one of those weird endless monolith spawns. That will upset me. Man.
All right, let's see what we can do about this, hey? Eh? I actually didn't want to disassemble that, but no, that didn't give us anything we need. Sunload that, let's drop. Sunload that, let's drop. Uh, I'm pretty sure this isn't going to help us. Yeah, AV NATO, that's not going to help us. That can go. All of this stuff can go because we don't need any of it. It's just... Hop. Hop. Some lucky stalker can come and claim all of this gaff. I don't want it. Okay, we've also got this guy, which I think we do need. Was it this one? Trigger mechanism with hammer. No, I'm getting that mixed up with something else. Yeah, definitely getting that mixed up with something else. Yep, this is not good. Not good for me. We don't need this. And let's disassemble this. Because it is upgraded, we may get... We got nothing from it, did we? I don't, yeah, I don't think we got anything from that. Let's disassemble you. All the stuff that can be disassembled shall be disassembled. This is the rule. This is the way. And we need food again. Uh, here, let's let's use some act, some of these act tab 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 things. Tippity tabs. Aqua tabs. You knew what I was talking about. Okay, that might be helpful. Let's loot these guys. Details. This guy has what we need. You have the junk, baby. And by junk, I mean the good stuff. So... You got grenades as well. Thank you very much. Uh, now, we are actually a little bit destroyed. Again. So... Let's see what we can do about repairing this. We need a fiver. Actually, maybe we can... Have silencer. We'll take all of this. More like this. Uh, yeah, why not? We'll take that. Sure. Still keep an eye out, because I heard footsteps. Yeah, detached silencer. Okay, we have gear which can be used to help fix. Let's disassemble this. Cool. We'll grab all of this. What do we got here? Let's disassemble you, and hopefully we get some components back from you. Nope, we got nothing. Interesting. Hoping that we haven't hit a bug. Have we hit a bug? No. Surely not. Unload, detach. Now, what have you got for parts? What do you have here? Uh, the triple fire mode, I don't think we need. Don't need that gas tube. Yep, no, this one's no good either. But you. That's more of the same, but what have you got? You got gas tube we need. I think it's just going to be the gas tube. Yep, gas tube. We will take that. We need those. More like this. Did we get anything from that? I don't know if we did. I'm wondering if we're glitching out because we're not... I'm not seeing any notifications saying that we've disassembled something. Makes me a little bit concerned. Here, watch this. Normally you get a message when you disassemble. We get nothing. What does that mean? Oh crap. Sin's coming. That's mine, bitch. Okay, we got more. And I can't use grenades either. Okay, we got problems. And now I can't aim. I can't ADS. Jesus, can I even reload? Okay, there's something weird going on with my controls. <laughs> he 
cheeky guy. <laughs> he came up through the barrel. You asshole. I can't even reload. I, I can't even reload. This is nuts. Alright, so we got this weird bug again. How am I going to fix this? Um... I'm going to have to try and fix it without... I need a save point. I don't even know if I can save. Shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. This is not good. This is not good. Oh, crap. I thought something was wrong. I couldn't throw grenades, then I couldn't reload. This is nuts. Can I even... Yeah, I can't search these bodies. I can't do anything. Oh, apparently I can pick up random weapons on the ground. Shit. This is not good. Alright. Gonna have to find somewhere to fast travel. I reckon. It's probably gonna be the only thing that's gonna save us. Oh, that was close. Man, that's really filthy. Alright, so what I'm going to try and do is fast travel to Red Forest, then reload, and then fast travel back. That's, a, that's the only thing we can do. That's, that's literally all we can do. Such a crummy thing to happen, man. Because now we have to leave all of that beautiful, beautiful loot behind, and I have to hope that it's still there when we get back. Come on. Beep. So what I'll do is I'll fast travel into Red Forest. I'll fast travel... Hello? Are you fast traveling me? Is it not going to fast travel me? That would be super shitty. It's not fast traveling me. Oh dear. I may have no choice but to reload. As shitty as that is, I may have no choice but to reload. Oh wow. Are you gonna play me like this game? For real? All we need is a save point, and for that, all we need is a fire. So, because I don't know if we can use a bed. Alright, let's head back to base and see if there's anything we can do to rectify this situation. Because I really want to keep what we got. And we just went through a whole bunch of shit and I don't want to have to do that again. I mean, sure, it'd be fun, but we just went through a whole bunch of shit. It was like half the episode. Oh, this is so crummy. Now I just have to hope that wherever we go, we can save. Man, I really wanted whatever Sin had on them. I hope no one goes and loots those bodies. I'll bet they're completely stripped by the time we get back. And this is one of the downsides of doing this particular crafting challenge. Whoa, almost ran into that. The fact that we can only save at certain points means that if we encounter any bugs like this, we're screwed. See, I can't even open my inventory to pull out an energy drink now. I'm not even sure if I can use any hotkeys. Too afraid to try. Let's keep going. So at the moment, I can't open my inventory. I can't really interact with anything unless it's a loose item in the world, which is strange. Can't... Can't open my PDA. I can swap weapons. I can't reload this one. Can't reload this one. I'm pressing R right now. Can't reload. So it's bugged. Far out, man. That makes me very shitty. I will be very, very shitty if we cannot save. Okay. So we can't... Wouldn't even let us fast travel, man. 
would not let us fast travel. Are you kidding me? We can't open the door. I can't, I'm pressing F and I can't open the door. You've got to be joking. And now I can't press B to put my weapon away. Holy shit, what a clusterfuck. There is only one other option. We're going to have to go and hope that there are guys still in, um, in this tunnel here and they've got a fire lit. That's the only other option we've got. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is really shit. All of this just to get a save. I would continue, but we can't do anything. We can't... I can't do anything. I'm, I'm basically locked out. Locked out of everything. I can run. <laughs> Maybe I can shoot. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't tried to shoot anything in the last two minutes. Welcome to Stalker. Let's hope that these guys are friendly. Come on, roll me a friendly fire. I can see light. I see friendlies. Now, you be nice. You play nice with Blondie, okay? Play nice with Blondie, Blondie will play nice with you. Okay? Okay. Oh, you filthy. It's not going to let me save either. I'm pressing F5 and it is not letting me save. All right, let's see if we can save this way, hey? Save, save. Yeah. All right, so now let's reload. Let's load the last one. And cross our fingers that we have not lost progress. Yes. I apologize for this extra busy work. This was not part of the plan. And I have inventory back again. Huzzah! Alright, let's get our asses back to that stash point because we killed a lot of bodies and I want the frickin' loot. Give to me. All right, now I'm hungry and angry. Somebody gonna pay. Yeah, you want some? You want some? I'll give it to you. All right, let's get our asses back there and loot. Get this Luteus Maximus on. Totally not how the episode was supposed to go, by the way. <laughs> Can't believe how many monoliths showed up. Again, it's just like we were shit magnets. Shoot one and suddenly there's a freaking swarm of them. Did they spawn on me or something? Like, I don't know, is it like calling in reinforcements? I killed the squad of them and so they managed to get a radio out and now they're pissed at me or something? I don't know. Or I'm just general enemy number one so they figure they might as well start shooting. It's attracting them like a swarm of ants. Let's get some of that in us. Alright, let's go. I just want to get back to this side again. Let's go. You keep what you kill. Who are you? Are you serious? We've got more of these assholes. I'll take you. Yeah, I'll take you. Can you die? gonna say he got one off but he also got himself exploded and he's right in the middle of an anomaly field far out that is too much for you to handle friend grab that all right let's go 
Do we have Granate? Reload. Alright. Oh, uh, these guys seem to be macking in the same location. Maybe this is a transit area and they just love coming through here for reasons. I'm fine with all of this, but we need to go back and get our loot. We'll repair and stuff when we get there, but I just want to get through, get this gear, stash it. There may be too much for us to stash, to be honest, but uh, that was a thing there. That was a thing there. Or is that just a crack in my visor? Okay, bodies are gone. The bodies are gone. Fah. Damn it. Bodies have despawned. God damn it. That's not the way this was supposed to go down. <sighs> fine, 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 fine. Let's have a look at the details on you. I think we need what you have. Yep, we definitely need that. Let's break you down. Swipe. Now. Yeah, we did not need you. What have you got on you? What's this? Gas tube? We definitely need that one. Alright, we need that, so let's disassemble it. So all of the other stuff that we disassembled, we just lost all of those components because of that bug. That makes me really shitty. Not happy. Not happy at all. It's okay though, we'll get the loot back. It's all part of the game, right? Smoke a day keeps the doctor away. Shall they say? All right, what have you got for me? I know you dropped a weapon. There we. Oh, hey, hey, hey! You had a weapon that I really want. This guy. This guy has some components we need. So here we have the hammers. That's definitely what we need. That one's on the list, and we need quite a few of those. Uh, I think that's about it, really. <laughs> but hey, that's a component that we need. Kaboom. Uh, ejector. We didn't actually get the part we wanted. Serial. I, I really don't think I like you this episode. You've given us all the things to kill. And you're taking a lot of the loot away from us. I'm not happy. I'm not happy with you. All right, let's have a look. So now we are sort of starting to head into the underground toward the oasis. This is the opening area that heads into the oasis. Now, you could panic in this area if you get yourself stuck in there, because you can actually get stuck in there. And if you don't know how to proceed, you could potentially die. Isn't that cheery? Now, I will admit that it's, it's been a hot little minute since I've been through there, so... It's not... Ooh, it's not super clear on the Blondie's scale of knowledge. But I do understand the general idea of what we need to do, and... I think we shall be fine. Yes. So basically, we just head up through a bunch of consecutive rooms like this. Some drainage systems. Can't remember if there are any stashes here. I don't think there's actually that much. There's a few things just sort of sitting out in the environment like this. But not much in the way of stashes, I don't think. Yep, okay. Hello. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure we can just walk through that. That's not an issue. That will lead up as well. I think there may be something up here. Am I right? Am I right? I'm not. Nope. Alright, so this is where we need to go. Up here. Hop. Okay. 
Okay. And here we are. Here is the entrance, the the official entrance to the oasis right here. This is the point of no return. So if you want to back out, and I'll show you why in a minute. No, we don't actually need this. So here we are. We're in a special room. And I think, I'm trying to remember if this is actually a reference to the Stalker movie, the 1970s Stalker movie. A section like this. It's been a while since I've seen that too. But basically you're presented with a bunch of columns like this. And you have to walk through them, between them, in a certain order. So say this one might be this one, and this one might be this one. Here's what happens if you try to go back. Uh, this one will actually let me go back. Interesting. I think I actually need to go through the pillar room first. Or maybe it is, maybe it is that it does let you go in. Or go back, but it just won't let you advance. I'm pretty sure I got locked in this room though. So if we just go, I'm just going to go bump, bump, bump. This will be incorrect. Bump. And then we head into this room. We will see that it looks exactly like the room that we just came from. And so we end up in kind of like an endless loop. So if we go back, you'll see basically, you should see basically the same thing. I'm pretty sure if we go back. Yep, and so now we're stuck. Uh, was it this one? Nope, it'll still let us go back. So maybe we have to go all the way through. Just keep going through. So yeah, basically what happens is you'll kind of get locked in here. Let's keep going. Okay, so we head through. We head in again. And you can see we're back again. Actually, I just realized that we need to repair this. And yep, we need to repair that. And we need to repair all the things. And the shooty shooty bang bang is happening above us. Alrighty, let's... First of all, let's fix the armor. We need 6%. Do we have anything that we can disassemble for that 6%? There's probably not, is there? Negatory. Alright. Uh, I'm fine with something that's roughly close enough. I mean, I guess we could use this. Yeah, that's good enough. Let's use a monolith the patch. Easy come, easy go. Okay, I think we're ready to cruise again. Let's fix you up. Let's fix you up with this. We got time, we got water, we got food, we got time, it's fine. And we've got one more to fix, is you. 3%, perfect. Oh, Unisig is in the area too. Interesting. All the fun. Okay, I think that's everything repaired, cool. Sounds really close too, hey. Always fighting in this area. Alright. So you heard the electric charge thing as we walk through this area. And if you look up here, you can actually see that one of these is already charged. So I'm pretty sure that means we walk through the correct pillar. So what we're going to do is we're going to continue walking through all the pillars. So that might look dangerous, but it's not. You won't be hurt by it. It does indicate where you're supposed to run through. Okay, so we just heard another one. So basically what we're going to do is we're just going to test going through all of these columns. One at a time until we get the first section. Okay. 
Okay, and I think we went through there before, so let's head through this one first. Okay. Now, I don't know if you noticed that there was actually a little pause right here, a little skip where I reckon you actually get respawned back at the start of this puzzle. So here we go. You can see that this one was the correct one. So we need to go through this one first, this one second, and then one of these next. We'll try the middle one. And then through that one. Okay, so that doesn't look like it worked for us. Oh yes it did, that was correct. We made it through. Look at that. So this is the heart of the oasis right here, and this... There is an interesting artifact right here, which is officially the heart of the oasis. And nabbing that will spawn in a bunch of nasties. Now there is actually a task to come and collect this if you talk to the scientist back in the ecologist's complex. Um, he will start talking about the heart of the oasis. So basically what we can do is we can grab this and just leg it. When we're close enough. And up we go. So you can hear there's mutants and stuff below us. And we will bag and tag this one. Now we ate a few rads getting them up here, so I'll just purge some real quick. Okay. And we'll just take care of whatever nasty is running around down there. I'm gonna say one of them sounds like they died. He's down there. Let's just grenade this guy. If we can. We could actually just leave. Ooh, where did you go? Got him. After all of that hassle, I think we will happily go down there and take our reward. Uh, now, what have we got here in terms of... We're running a bit short on stuff, so let's just swap out to the darts. We should be able to reload this going to say. Oh, hang on. We're running a bit low on those too. Okay, well, let's pop in some of these then. All right, let's head down, skin this guy. So the Heart of the Oasis bestows a bunch of unique benefits. It's a unique artifact, you won't find another one like it. So it's worth going, it's worth going looking for. I'll show you the stats in a tick. It's just, yeah, you're nothing special. That little ambush will probably catch you the first time if you'd never known about it before. It's okay, it gets everyone. All right. Let's have a look at the heart of the oasis. Uh, Goid. Artifacts, heart of the oasis. So, 2.7 kilos, high tier, so it is worth a fair bit. Good bleeding control and good stamina recovery. And it even restores health. So, it basically gives you vitality, right? 
having it equipped and carrying it around, but you look at what it does to the rest of your stats. Electrical resistance takes a big hit, so does your psychic resistance and burn resistance. So, kind of good in between fights if you're not doing too much exploring, you just kind of, you know, you want to health up but you don't want to have to use resources. Heart of the Oasis is a good way to go. And, as I mentioned in a previous episode, it brings you back out. That's where we came in, down the hill there. And there was lots of shooty shooty bang bang up around here. So, our base is back over this way. Just keeping an ear out because there was what sounded like a pretty vicious battle up here. Definitely a vicious battle going on over there. Sin and Unisig, all sorts of weird stuff going on here at the moment. That looks like a stash. I don't think we've looted that yet. Let's have a look. Oh. Just spotted those guys right now. Look at that. Let's take them. Let's run, just in case he threw the grenade. I don't think he did, that's cool. So who were they fighting? Is he alive? No, he's dead. Just gotta be careful, these suiciders. Monolita suiciders. Alright, this guy's got something worth disassembling, let's do that. Ah, uh, what do we got? Okay, we got a grooming kit out of that, very nice. And some gear. We'll take that. Okay, what do we got here? That will give us... Whoa! Once again, we are... Target practice for somebody. Let's keep going. Let's see if we can... Eh. Eh. See if we can cut him off here. Yeah, I hear you. There it is. Okay, that's one down. Someone cleared out our mutants for us. Was it just him? It wasn't, I swear there was another. Thought so. Yeah, cheeky prick. Man, monolith are everywhere here. Unbelievable. Let's get rid of you. Let's disassemble you. Uh, let's just quickly check you for stuff. Yeah, we need that. I'm gonna try and make this as quick as we can. Okay. Grab this, grab that. Grab that for sure. That has synthetics, we'll grab that. And of course we got nothing. Okay, that can stay, that can stay. What do we need here? 
Nothing in particular from that, I'm pretty sure. Okay, this guy's got the goods. Whoa, what happened there with my mouse? Easy there, little fella. What a little haul we have going on here. Did we loot you in the end? Did we loot everything? I think we did. That's right. We were getting ready to disassemble you. Alright. And we still didn't get what we need. Disassemble that. Okay, we actually got a component from that. How cool is that? So, that's a really good thing. I like that. I like that mechanic. Let's just put this pistol back in. We are going to bug out. Uh, and we're going to do that right now. Because that is a lot of action for this episode. If you were wanting action, my friends, you had it in this episode. And now we just got to make it back without getting our asses shot off or getting immolated or eaten or emissioned out of existence and hope that this checkpoint isn't guarded we could potentially run around the outside of the building okay I think I think we're okay Yep, I think we're good. Let's push on. Let's push on with automatic. Because this area is starting to make me twitchy now. There's way too much activity here. For real? Uh, let's put some slugs in. More convincing than I thought they would. Let's grab him. Come on, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Oh, he had some stuff on him. I like you. Is that all we've got for those slugs? Alright, let's put the darts back in. Man, those slugs were really underwhelming. Yeah, I don't think we need to be running around with a grenade in our hands. We're gung-ho, but we're not that gung-ho. Well, friends, you got to see the heart of the oasis. You got to see me almost get killed by a monolita. Had to have been, an, it wasn't really an ambush, but Jesus, it felt like it. we were getting pancaked. It was just like a, a ship magnet. As soon as we shot one of their squads, all of a sudden we got everyone on us. And then Sin showed up. And then we couldn't use anything. Game nearly yeeted us out of existence. And now, we're returning back to base with a huge stash of stuff. Look at that. We can actually get inside this time. Whew. Wow. Now we have a whole bunch of barrels and stuff. I'm tempted to see what we can sell some of this junk for. Oh, Ah, oh, Privyet. You surprisingly will take all of this stuff. Uh, that's weird. What is that? 40, ah, oh, yeah, it's over 10%, okay. Yeah, I think I can stand apart with that for sure. Headgear, we're never going to need headgear repair kits again, so we can safely sell those. This we will keep because we'll need this for upgrading our weapons. We got some nice stuff here. I Do we need barrel external threading? External threading. No, we don't. So we can actually sell that. Barrel external threading components. Just checking, just checking. Nope, it's not on our list. So we can safely sell that too. Boom, look at that. Uh, plastic and synthetic parts fine tuning. Do we need that? Plastic and synthetic parts. I'm pretty sure we don't. Nope, that's not on the list either, so that's easy money. 
This is what I mean. I'm not worried about money because it will be easy to come by. Yeah, dig. Don't need these. We don't need these. That we do need. That's useless. That's not going to be... Really? He doesn't buy this? Okay. Camelback will have to go to someone else. Uh, the gas tube V we need. We don't need the ejector. We don't need the chalk. Or this. Or this. Uh, we don't need the rotating lockheads. PVC, I'm pretty sure we don't need anymore. Not that we do. We definitely don't need those. The wooden parts we don't need. They actually weigh a fair bit. And this stuff we do. So we'll keep all of this stuff. Ammo parts, I will end up keeping those. Just because I think we can actually use them. Alright. Just looking at our gear. Yeah, 98%. Everything else is actually looking pretty good. Um, I was going to say we also have... 67%. Yeah, you're looking a bit rough around the edges. So why don't we fix you up? Done. Done. We could have let that slide a little longer and then use... I'll show you in a tick. And then used this to assist as a supporting material in the repair. Which does actually weigh a fair bit. Alright, let's go to the trader and... Yeah, okay, okay. Let's go to the trader and... This will actually give us a bit of scrap and we do need more scrap. Let's do it. A couple of scraps, yeah we can do that. Yeah, we can't do anything with that. Uh, we do have something that we can view though. Let's have a look. Okay, we got stash coordinates. Very good. So that was, they say that they say that the supplies of the faction who were trying to get to the center of the zone are still under the radiation of the Scorcher. None of them returned, and the supplies remained there, waiting for someone to pick them up. And that someone was obviously you, sir? No? They're just rumors. Spotted mercenaries near the isolated houses a few hours ago, but then they got away. Since then, everything is even normal. He was a master rank. His reputation was brilliant, this guy. And we ended him. I feel... nothing. <laughs> no, I'm actually pretty happy. Okay. Let's trade with this guy. Let's. So he will probably have. There we go. Beautiful. So he's got another grooming kit for us. We need more of those. Silence so we can get rid of. We don't need it. I know that we're not going to use a lot of this ammo, but I still wouldn't mind hanging on to it. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of these silencers. They will give us a nice boost in cash. Pretty sure this one. Oh, it can be broken down. All right, we'll keep that one. We'll disassemble that. Uh, the kerosene, you know what? We've held onto it for a long time. Let's just turf it. Uh, can we... Okay, those ones we can't disassemble. So let's sell those off. Did they actually... I was going to say, did they give us anything for that? And they do. Thought I was getting stiff then. Would not have been happy. All right. Let's have a look at some of this other stuff. Um, ammo. You can take all of this low-grade stuff. Ah, there was a thought that I found about ammo. What was it? What was I going to test? Check test. That's right. Yeah, it was a specific type of ammo. I'll talk more about that later. Um, empty syringe. I don't think we need a rope. You can get rid of that. All of this stuff that I didn't realize we had, and we can actually just get rid of it. Empty syringes and stuff, yeah. Let's get rid of the fuel cutlery. Alright, so, and the camelback, we really don't need that. Nice chunk of cash there, very, very nice indeed. Okay. Oop. So, let's put in the stuff that we know we need to keep which is the grooming kits and we need to keep uh i saw steel wool there's steel wool we need to keep the gas tube and we need to keep this and this we need the scrap 
Now, this will return fasteners, but I think we are pretty good for fasteners. Yeah, we're all topped up. We don't need any more fasteners. That's all fine. I think everything else is good. I don't think we need anything else in this stash. Yep, I'm pretty confident with that. Actually, the one thing we probably could keep in there is the repair kits. I was going to say, because we don't have a lot of repair kits at the moment. Let's dump them in. That way, nothing funny is going to happen to them. Let's just join you two at the hip. Okay. And then we can dump the rest of this stuff in here. Now, we do actually need a top-up of a buckshot. So, let's grab a bit more of that. Beautiful. Yeah, we got extras. We can, we can get away with it. Uh, we do need some more darts though, so let's grab some more of those. We need a bit more of those. Let's grab those. Uh, these can stay. That can stay because we can break that down. Got an art that we'll definitely keep. Now we said we were going to break that down. So let's do that now and disassemble. Three metallic scrap, very nice indeed. Anything else here? No. Okay, keep the scrap. Dump all this in. This is all stuff that doesn't need to come with. Got some extra food, stocked up on our meds. Gonna keep the heart of the oasis here for now. We are actually running kinda low on LLMCs. Could be worth a trip down south just to grab another one. Let's keep these in here. There's no reason for us to be carrying quite so much of that stuff. Um, what else? What else can I leave here? Oh, these can stay for sure. Could actually potentially sell those, but... At the rate we're getting hammered at the moment, uh, they may come in handy. So we'll keep them for now. Okay, I don't think we need that one. Let's put that one back. Pretty confident that we won't need that. 70%. Let's leave that here. Now we are actually missing more repair. Okay, let's just grab that for now. You know what? I'm going to grab... Well, I remember, I'm going to grab another repair. I think a repair oil for the weapons. Oof. Seriously, man. Uh, this one. Yes. Okay. Did I just get swindled out of some money? Gonna have to review the footage, but... Did I just get swindled out of some money? Hmm. Swear this didn't cost that much. Also just noticed that we have a whole bunch of med kits and stuff here. Let's just get rid of the stuff we don't need. Alright, sweet. Got heaps of meds, so we could actually do some med crafting at some point in the future as well. I might add some of those to the new list, and we can play around with those. I don't know why I came upstairs, because we're going to go downstairs to save. And that was the episode. What a freaking episode that was. Holy crap. It was looking pretty sketchy there for a while, but now here we are. I always get excited when I see this. Yes. Back on topic. That was the end of the episode, and I always get excited when I see this thing. Distractions. Yes. I hope you all enjoyed the episode. If you did, do me a favor. Fan the thumb button. Fan the like button. Fan it hard. And subscribe if you haven't done already. And if you've been here with the channel... Um, for a while, I thank you very much. I really do appreciate all of the support that you've shown the channel and definitely couldn't have got to a thousand subscribers without your help. It's really good to get the message out there and, and people are, people are enjoying what I'm putting out, which is crazy. It is just nuts. Well, uh, what else is there? There is the Hey Blondie, uh, long form video game analysis channel. Yes, I have a second channel just for long form video game analysis. Link is in the description for that. I am also on Twitter. Link in the description for that too. Uh, like I said, the 
crafting spreadsheet is now finished and there should be a link in the description for that too i apologize if there's not but at the very least there will be a separate video that comes out and i'll be posting the link in that as well so just a quick overview of the sheet i tried to make sure that everything i did was done without macros uh, just because antivirus tends to catch it a fair bit and it can be a bit painful to get it to run sometimes cross-platform just doesn't really work because it's using vb scripts and it can be a bit dicey so uh, i tried to keep it all inside the excel spreadsheet and i did and if it's missing any features, like um, if there are certain things that you think should be in there, do feel free to drop me a comment and let me know. Maybe just keep it to the video related to the spreadsheet. Um, but do keep in mind that this was done without any macros. So no buttons, uh, no, no radio boxes, no, no check boxes, nothing like that. No form controls, basically. It's really hard to do any of that sort of work uh, without actually doing any coding. So keep that in mind. Anyway, I digress. I waffle a little, in case you haven't noticed. Uh, let's check our stats. Let's do that. We should actually have gone up slightly. <laughs> Serious? 41. We've gone up to 41. Man, we should be like 36 or 35 or something. We, we killed so much. We hauled so much ass on this, on this episode. That's ridiculous. And look at our reputation, though. Brilliant. They love us. Someone loves us. Monolith probably don't love us. But other people do, and that's good. Got a rank of Master. We're pushing up towards Legend. Uh, let's see where the Legend starts. So, you're at 27. You're at 27. 27. Okay, so maybe Legend begins at 2,800. 28,000, sorry. 28,000, we become a Legend. So, we still got a little ways to go. We still got another... I don't know, four... 4,000, slightly over 4,000 XP to go to push up our rank. But we're getting there, man. Like, look at it. Look how many things we killed. We're going, we're going strong. And what else are we going to check? Let's just check our inventory, our cash. Cash situation is looking pretty good. Yes, what an episode. And we're more steps closer to our crafting, which is always good. Well, that was it. That was the episode. Until next time. Good hunting, stalker.